Okay, so so let me preface this by saying, I think this is a funny story, or else I wouldn't be telling it. It's kind of stupid. It's pretty stupid. It's it's really stupid. So yesterday we were trying to figure out what we wanted to do for dinner, and for some reason we landed on chili, and I landed in urgent care. She's browning the meat, and I was like, well, you're browning the meat. Let me go rinse the beans. So you know how when you're opening up a can, and the can opener you're using looks like this. You know how you, you, you go around it and, well, it doesn't open. It cuts it, but it doesn't fully open it. And then you, you, you push it, right? And, and nothing happens. So I went around again. Now, a normal person would go get like a knife or a fork to like pry that little extra. But me, being the genius that I am, I decided uh, I, I, can, I can just break this. I'm strong enough to just push and, and it will break the top. Well... And I took this finger, and, and I pushed into the can, and well, and, and the top didn't break. So, so this is a normal finger, and now, and now that this is my finger. So I kind of have a dusty divot. Actually, it's like this. It's like a vault. So imagine one of the vaults is open, right? But the door's still on. So you you open it, but you can also close it. This is basically what started happening. And I was like, okay, well, that's not good. I should stop that from happening. And it didn't stop. I was like, hmm, this is probably bad. I was like, I was like, well, what do I do here? And we're like, should we go to urgent care? Now, mind you, it's a metal can and I don't have my tetanus shot. Now, I'm not really sure what tetanus is, to be honest, but I know it can kill you. And I know it's very, very rare, so so it, it's very unlikely to happen. But I was like, well, you know, you never know. And 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 the last thing that I wanted was, was to die by beans. We go down the urgent care. Mind you, it's still bleeding at this point. Like, it has not stopped. I'm putting constant pressure, and it's just like, you know, it just doesn't want to stop. And I'm like, you know, that's probably not good. So we get into the doctor's office. The doctor comes in, and the doctor's like, let me look at it. Doctor looks at it, he's like, that's nothing. And I'm like, sir, part of my finger is not attached. It's not nothing. Like, like I know it's not a major deal, but it's, it's definitely not like nothing. So they made me put my hand in this like soaking thing. It looked like a batter of like, uh, like a fried chicken like dish. And I guess it was to sterilize my hand so I don't have any bacteria. I go and I put my hand in and it stings and it's like, exceptionally painful and i was like wow that hurts like a mother and then the nurse literally looked at me and told me to stop being a bitch and then they came in and they gave me a tetanus shot and then they put this this the uh, it looked like a um like a condom that's basically like a, how i can describe it and they just put it on the finger and then they wrapped it even more we did that and then I left. So you're thinking, no, how does this affect my Fortnite gameplay? Well, I can't play Fortnite because this is my D finger. It's also the one I click all the weapons with, right? So it's like, if I were to keep clicking on buttons, there's a very good chance that the wound would open up. Thus, I would be getting blood all over my keyboard, which is probably not ideal. By the way, apparently, and I asked him, I was like, can I have like nerve damage? Because like, I don't think you're supposed to lose a chunk of your finger. Like it's just, it's probably not ideal, but apparently uh, it literally just, no, like, like apparently it, it just becomes back to a normal finger. And I was like, oh, that's good.